Okay, so we're going to finish up uh, a second semester almost here, one of the last sections we did, the Pythagorean Theorem. Hopefully everybody knows a squared plus b squared equals c squared. What you have to know are a and b, these are things of the triangle, and c is always the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle and longest side. That's how you know the hypotenuse. Opposite the right angle, longest side. So number three here, I have 9, 40, and x. Well, the side opposite right there is a hypotenuse. So I can say 9 squared plus 40 squared equals x squared. Well, this is going to go ahead and give me 81 plus 1,600 equals x squared. This gives me 1,681 equals x squared. How do we get rid of squares? We square root both sides. And you're going to get that, that x value equals 41. So the missing side length equals 41. Number four is a little different because if you notice, here's my hypotenuse. So in this case, I know it's 10 squared plus r squared equals 26 squared. Set up a little bit differently. Gives me 100 plus r squared equals 676. I'm going to subtract 100 to both sides. I get r squared equals 576. One more time, how do we get rid of a squared? We square root, and you get here, r equals 24. This one equals 24. Pretty simple stuff. Okay. The other types of problems you'll say is determine whether the side lengths are the sides of a right triangle. Well, you've got to keep in mind that the long side is a hypotenuse. So if you know that, these aren't that bad. Here's my longest side. So it's 2 squared plus 2 squared equals 4 squared. If this works out to be true, then yes, it's a right triangle. 4 plus 4 equals 16. Does 8 equal 16? No. So not a right triangle. Let me erase that. That's kind of sloppy. Not a right triangle. Okay, this one. Longest side's right there. 10 squared plus 24 squared equals 26 squared. 100 plus 576 equals 676. 676 equals 676. So, yes, that's a right triangle. Sorry, the bell just rang for school there. And then finally, here's my longest side. 6 squared plus 9 squared equals 12 squared. 36 plus 81 equals 144. Well, 81 plus 36 comes out to be 117. Obviously, this is not true, so this would be a no. So there's the applications of the Pythagorean theorem you're going to have to know. Again, uh, seen this when you were younger, pretty simple stuff.